Hi all, it's Rage from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Leo. Now this will be for the 7th to the 13th of February 2022. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget, it is a general reading. It is not going to suit every single person out there. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also time can be fluid. Energy can be vice versa. So keep that in mind. Okay. Leo. Come on, Leo. Oops. Just move my sage. Okay, on the bottom, all right, I feel like you're widening your knowledge, you're learning, and it can mean now. I find when I get this card, it can mean widening your knowledge as in whatever you've been going through, you're widening your knowledge about that. So you're learning, you're growing. Um, for others though, it can mean that you actually do something regarding your employment. Maybe you're doing some extra training, um, making steady progress, you know, you've, you're determined, um, skillful, you know, getting another skill maybe. So yeah, depending on where you are in your life, I guess. Now... You've also got the Nine of Wands and you've also got the Six of Wands. You're both in reverse. So, are you, are you standing up for yourself? Are you um, feeling like you have a lack of confidence? You know, maybe there's some sort of private achievement you need to make. But whatever you're going through, like, you see it as a struggle. You're feeling overwhelmed, defensive, closed-minded. But you have everything inside you to get through it. You can have victory. So don't doubt yourself. But there's definite choices you need to make. You're weighing up your options. You know, maybe you're trying to avoid making a decision. I feel like whatever it is, though, it's a spiritual lesson. Something you need to learn from that um, with the Hierophon in reverse. Okay. On the table, we have first row, Page of Pentacles in reverse. You've got the Devil card in reverse. And you've got the Magician. So... I did say you've got the Hierophant, which could mean that this person is a Taurus. It could be a Capricorn. Um, all right. Um, 
All right, let's start. So, Page of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like whatever you've gone through, you need to learn from the failure, which is what I'm saying. Like, you're growing. And that's when I said about the card over here, the... Um, the eight this can be you growing this can be you widening your knowledge you're now learning um whatever it is you needed to learn so learn from whatever didn't turn out for you um and i feel like make sure you make progress because as i said you can be successful it's like it's like sort of saying everything i've just said with these with the wands it's like you can be successful but you need to make the choice, which is another card I also said. You don't want to make, you need to make a choice. And it's like if you make the choice to make progress, you can be successful. So just keep that in mind. But you need to learn from whatever just hasn't worked for you. Now, detaching from, <clears throat> maybe speaking your truth is important because my throat's going weird. But maybe it's also about detaching from people that are like the devil um they could have addictions they could have they could tell lies they could be obsessed they could be greedy materialistic have an unhealthy mindset um yeah it could be ad addicted to drugs sex money alcohol gambling they could be codependent whatever this is i feel like you know even if it's your own like realizing that, it, that you know these people it's an unhealthy relationship even if that's you know something you need to do but whatever this is i feel like you're learning and you're working on manifesting whatever you want you may, you know you you can you can turn your visions into reality you know Follow any inspired action that you that you're getting. But if you believe it, you can do it. So tell me more about this. Um, I think I shuffled these. Tell me more about the Devil card. I'll just shuffle them again, just in case I haven't. I shuffle so many times you kind of lose track about whether you shuffled or not okay tell me more i mean i shuffle in between anyway but yeah exactly what i thought so you haven't been manifesting you know what it is you want um because you also don't want to make a decision about something that probably caused you suffering um but you know you have these deep-seated fears because of whatever you've gone through you realize there were secrets, but you're releasing the worry. You need to release the worry because at the moment you're manifesting not what you want because you don't want to make a choice. You don't want to, or you haven't wanted to either detach from these people or, you know, you keep attracting more of the same. And you don't really have much hope. So if you don't have much hope and faith in the universe or in God or whoever you believe that you're going to get what it is you want, then you're not. You're going to manifest more crap. More what you don't want. As I said, don't want to make a decision. Maybe you're juggling too many things. But the sun card has come out because it's telling you to keep the faith. It's telling you everything is going to work out fine. Um, you know, you don't need validation from anyone. Be you authentically and you know it's all about success and material happiness a joyous outcome so i feel like don't worry whatever this is yeah you don't whatever you've been through don't worry because the more you worry you're putting the more of that out have faith believe that you're going to get what it is you want put it out there stop attracting these people that are doing you wrong okay then you've got the Queen of Swords, the Three of Swords in Reverse, and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, like you are moving on from, from this hurt. You are um, possibly with this devil person that you're detaching from, this devil energy. Um, you're, you, you're realizing, though, that you need to release these people. You're a self-sufficient person. You're honest. You're independent. You have clear boundaries. You know, you're direct with your communication. 
I feel like you, you could also be a person that cuts through the bullshit. You don't have to be a female, but it's the energy of that. Um, and I feel like, you know, you're releasing situations or people that don't serve you anymore. Focusing on your career. Focusing on um, you. You. you got the Knight of Pentacles as well, which is somebody who could be loyal, dedicated, an animal lover, reliable, hardworking, trustworthy, you know, that kind of person. Um, make sure you have a plan in your life or for whatever it is you want. Make sure you have a plan, you know, plan carefully before taking action and then get going. But wait for perfect timing when you feel like that's right for you tell me more about this night why is the night here you're going to be hesitant that's for sure and it's going to take everything inside you to get it you just need to be persistent you need to trust in whatever higher force if you believe in any um, or, you know, just have faith that it's going to happen. But because, you know, you need to, um, you know, put up your boundaries. But I feel like you are resilient. You know, you are a strong individual. You are, you do have courage. You do have persistence. So have a test of faith. Put up your boundaries. Be strong. You know, even though you are hesitant, I feel like, you know, Whatever you've been through, you need to walk away from. Forgive the past, though, as well. It's all about reaping rewards of your efforts. You know, you're making a positive movement forward. Once you walk away from this past energy, past people, past person, past whatever... All right, so the last line, future. And as I said, doesn't have to be future. It could be past, present, future. It could be all present. It could be different for different people. Okay, the Queen of Cups. You've got the Page of Swords and you've got the Two of Pentacles. It's funny, you've got a range of, range of everything, really. Um... As I said, I just feel like you're very caring and sometimes you forget to look after yourself i don't feel like this is somebody else but i feel like it, this is kind of describing you um and this is just other things that are going to happen things you need to know i feel like you know you need to trust your intuition that's um, you know and follow your heart um you might be psychic you this person could be a um Cancer or a scorp, really. I mean, Queen of Cups can kind of suit either. Um, a very self-sacrificing, compassionate, loving kind of person. And that may even be somebody that you want. You know, you want to attract that person. But I feel like it's more you. Page of Swords, yeah, I feel like someone's going to communicate, but the Page of Swords is, you know, somebody who could be younger than you. Um, sometimes they come across like a bit of a know it all, a problem solver. Um, sometimes blunt, but very perceptive, insightful. Um, But I also feel like I need to read them this way. Like you're learning, you're releasing situations that no longer serve you. You're learning from the failure. And what you're wanting 
is, you know, you need to follow your heart for and trust your intuition and look after yourself. That's the main message there. With the devil energy, it's more like this person is, um, you need to detach from, you know, you're moving on, you're letting this situation go. And, you know, I feel like you're, um, you, this could possibly have happened after you received some information that possibly was very challenging to receive. Um, and then you've got the magician. So you're manifesting, you know, someone who's very loyal and dedicated and could be an animal lover. Um, you know, you're, you're attracting that loyal person. And then you've got the two of pentacles, which is about choices and weighing your options, balancing. There's got to be a balance, equal give and take. Um, time management, you know, somebody who somebody who brings fun into your life. They'll also make time for you, but there needs to be that equal give and take with the whole situation. So as I said, I feel like I need to read them this way as well, which is what I've done. Um, so maybe tell me more. Tell me more about these choices, the two of pentacles. Oh, got a few has fallen out. Yeah, as I said, didn't stand your ground um, with the seven. I feel like, you know, with the seven of wands, this is, you're feeling exhausted. You felt overwhelmed. You felt indecisive. You felt like you just wanted to give up. And maybe that's your, maybe that's your two choices. Maybe it's like, do I want to give up or because I'm so hesitant to give this a go? Or do I want to sort of put myself out there again? Could we even be that? Work on codependency though. And as I said you in before, you need to now look after you. You know, you're very self-sacrificing, but you also need to not forget to take care of yourself. But you are learning. It was all, a lot of it was a spiritual lesson. There was something you needed to learn from everything you've been through. You've gone through this emotional loss, and I feel like that was part of it, you know. You probably had a broken marriage or felt a loss, regret, grief, unloved, abandoned. You felt like you were, you know, a lot of self-pity, disappointed. You went through a period of mourning, um, frustration, you know, just dwelling on the negative. I also feel like though you didn't have the same values and expectations as somebody else and maybe that's why the Hierophant's here so you can have the wisdom learning what this what's happened in the past as I said it's 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 a the whole thing is about you learning you know and I feel like so there was I just said for Aries funny enough there's that saying or hiccups there's that saying um, if you want something different, you have to do something different. And I just said that to them. And I feel like it's the same for you. Like, learn from what you've been through so you don't repeat the cycle. Could also be an Aries with the Emperor. But also you need to stand your ground. You need to, you could be a father. But it could also be about you having the confidence and making some sort of plan, knowing what it is you want, um, you know, just taking back power in your own life as well. Watch what you're manifesting, which I think is what I've said to you before, because you don't want any more devil energy. Um, what you want is your person. Manifest that. All right, that's what I have um, for you, Leo. I hope that resonates. And if it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you with the next read. Thanks for watching. Bye.